Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are three tips for navigating documents in Photoshop. First, we can use the Navigator panel. I can zoom to a specific percentage, or I can use the slider to zoom in or zoom out, or use the icons. I can also reposition the area that I'm zoomed to. In fact, I can hold down the Command key or the Control key on Windows and click and drag to zoom to a very specific area. Second, I can display another view of this document by choosing New Window for Walnuts. Then I'll arrange them so that they're sitting side by side, and I'll zoom out on the image on the right. Then I can reposition the windows here so that I can see a larger view of the area that I'm zoomed into. This can enable us to quickly see how changes that we're making in the zoom view relate to the overall photograph or design. In fact, if I have two monitors, I can drag this out and then drag it over to the secondary monitor. And finally, when I'm checking an image for small imperfections, I use these shortcuts to quickly and systematically move through the image. To zoom in to 100%, I'll use Command-1 or Control-1 on Windows, then tap the Home key in order to move to the upper left of the image. I'll use Page Down to systematically go down through the image, add the Command key or Control key on Windows, and use Page Down to move to the right, and then use Page Up to continue moving through the document. Again, Command Page Down will move to the right, and then I'll continue down until I'm finished. It's a great way to be sure that I retouch the entire document. If you're working on a laptop, you might need to use the Function key with the up and down arrows to navigate up and down, and then add the Command key or the Control key to navigate left and right.